ask our next guest to join us to talk about the relationship between housing and the job market. But California realtor Connie DeGroote clearly has a unique perspective on these terrible fires. We'd like to begin with her thoughts on what's going on there in Santa Barbara. They move so quickly and they, they engulf homes both large and small. And, and what do you think? What does that do for real estate at all? And, you know, of course, the human toll. You know, uh, a couple years back, we actually had a fire in Beverly Hills, and I had a couple homes in escrow in Beverly Hills. And so what does that do? Um, a lot of people are th reconsidering closing, uh, or a house could burn down. It's not good. Um, you know, it hits confidence. And so if people get scared and they think that this is a dangerous area, um, then they might not want to buy. Well, and <laughs> Californians are, of course, accustomed to all of these things, whether it's right. earthquakes or the fires, but folks thinking of, of moving, and of yes. course a lot of people moving around the country because of the job situation, but this might stop them from doing that. I think so, and it, and it seems much more than what it really is, because I've, you know, I've been there when there's been a fire, and my family and friends are calling me and saying, oh my gosh, are you okay? And I'm, and I'm yeah, mom, dad, I'm okay, everything's fine, it's contained, it's not so drastic but yes I, I think it looks very scary um, so whenever there's a something like this it's probably not a good thing but we we recover and we forget and we move on. We sure do. I mean, growing up in California, I remember people would say, oh, you're from L.A., my gosh, mm -hmm. landslides, right. fires, yeah. earthquakes, and I'm saying, best location in the nation. Yeah, I got no problem it is. with that, it but is. you do forget. Yeah, so um, it's a big tragedy. I mean, if there's one home that's lost, it's a, it's a terrible tragedy for the people that own that home. But more importantly, you lose pictures and, and things that you can't replace, so it's very sad and... Um, my heart goes out to everybody in that area, and it's one of my favorite, most favorite vacation spots. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, we don't want to completely forget about the fires, but I do want to mention the job figures today. Again, a little better than expected, but still awful numbers when you yeah. look at them. How is that affecting real estate market? Well, I think that what it, I see it as an indicator that we're going to probably see more people losing their homes you know, uh, losing their jobs and, and losing their homes. So what I'm thinking is, you know, we really were seeing some sunshine in the housing market in certain ends where, where there's, you know, low prices and low interest rates and a first-time home buyer tax credit. I really think it's working. That tax in, uh, credit is working. So I think we should maybe offer that to all um, buyers of homes now to kind of speed up the demand and s help stabilize housing. Well, one of the things Warren Buffett of Berkshire Hathaway said to me over the weekend at the shareholder meeting in Nebraska, when we all asked him what about the housing market, he mm -hmm. immediately pinpointed that the one sort of sign of turnaround was in California. And we, we have what he said, and I'd like you to listen in and give your okay. comment. Here it is, Warren Buffett from this weekend on the housing market. Is there any turnaround in the housing market that you see, or will that come way down the line? Well, it depends where you're talking about. You, you, in California, and California's a big state, so there's multiple markets, but California, there's been a real uptick in activity. Now, it's the prices haven't gone up, uh, so it's at a much lower price level. And it's Is that not the, the free highest. market moving? Is that yeah. the free market and foreclosures now selling? Well, it, yeah, and it's lower interest rates, so it makes it more affordable. Yeah, and he, you really feel, you get the sense, what he says about the fact that you just touched upon, and that is they're, they're putting a bounty on home, home buyers' heads saying, here, we'll give you this, this, and this. Right. Just buy a house. Right, exactly. I mean, there's so many reasons to buy a home now. Uh, there's multiple offers on properties all the way up to a million dollars. The biggest thing is when a home is priced well, when it's a deal, for all buyers, uh, uh, for all sellers out there, if your home, if you price it aggressively a little below the market, then you're going to find that people show up. And, and make offers. Um, and I really saw a rapid turnaround in April. But um, I think that we really need to offer more tax credits to, I don't know why it's just to first time home buyers. Let's, let's eat up some of this inventory. Our, our buyer pool is but so small. But then do you small. get people in houses that shouldn't be in houses? In no, houses. no, because you, you need to be qualified to get a loan now. So we're so the bar pool extraordinarily tough to get exactly and that another reason why for if you are selling a home that requires a jumbo loan we need that tax and tax credit as well. Connie DeGroote. Great to see you in New right York. From the coast. Thank yeah. you. So